guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin Marie. And before I start today's video, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the support on my last video. It really means the world. For today's video, we are going to be talking about goals. So this video is inspired on a post from my blog and the two examples I'll be using for this video are getting med shape and getting more subscribers on YouTube. But you can apply these steps to any of your goals. So the reason why I think goals are so important is because I'm a firm believer in that you can design your life. A lot of people just don't set goals and end up living day to day and instead of living the life of their dreams, they sort of just let life happen to them. Goals help you have clarity on what you want in life and keep you motivated and focused on becoming the best version of yourself, whatever that means for you. I honestly believe you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. Maybe your goals are travel related, maybe they're related to your body or your health. Whatever your goals are, I am going to teach you five simple steps on how to set and achieve them. So the first step to setting your goals is actually to brainstorm what goals you would like to work on. For this, you're gonna to have to take a minute and think about your dream life. If you're having trouble thinking of some goals, think about all the things you would like to improve in your life now or things you would like to obtain or achieve in the future. Once you've brainstormed your goals, the next step is to turn these goals into SMART goals. Now, what SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. We want to turn the vision of our ideal life into goals that are precise and realistic. They need to be relevant steps towards achieving the dream life you have been thinking about. If the goal you're going to be working on every day doesn't bring you closer to your dreams, then what's the point? Now, the difference between a normal goal and a SMART goal would be, for example, getting better shape would be a goal, but a SMART goal would be to gain weight a specific amount in three months, to lose weight a specific amount in so many months. That way we can measure our progress and we can work towards it effectively. On the other hand, for example, if it's YouTube subscribers, then we can say we want X amount of YouTube subscribers by X amount of time. The next step in setting and achieving your goals is creating a vision board. It's going to be a visual reminder of why we started and it will inspire us to see the bigger picture. Now you can make a vision board in many ways, it can be physical or online. The way I like to create my vision boards is finding lots of images on Pinterest and Instagram, making a collage with them on Keynote and then printing out and putting copies of it in places that I will see it every day. Some ideas of what you can put on your vision board is images and quotes that help to motivate us towards achieving what we have planned. Photos of a destination you want to travel to, maybe a new car you would like. You could put a check for an amount of money you would like to receive. For the two goals that I've used as examples, you could add photos like these. And when it comes to the subscribers, you could Photoshop something like this. Now, a vision board doesn't just help with motivation to work towards your goals every day. It also has a lot to do with something known as the law of attraction. The law of attraction is a theory that states whatever energy you put out to the universe, the universe will give back to you in the shape of people, events and objects. I've read a few books on this process and it's something that really works for me. It's definitely something you should look into. It helps in many ways to stay motivated and it's quite comforting to think that the universe is working towards giving you all your dreams. I will probably do a lot more videos in the future talking about the law of attraction, but for now you'll just have to make your vision board and see if it works for you. Now for the next step, I also need to explain a different method to achieving your goals, which is called the 12 week year. This method consists in thinking that the year instead of 12 months is actually three months. This is because when we set goals at the beginning of the year, like new year's resolutions, we know we have 12 months to achieve them and there is a very high percentage of people that give up in January. This is because we think we have a lot of time to complete it, we relax, and when you set a goal for the next three months, there is more pressure for you to complete it and work towards it daily. Now, I haven't read the 12 year book, but I figured out a way that works for me and I'm gonna share that with you. So the first step would be to print out individual calendars for the next three months. So now out of all those goals you brainstormed in the first step of this video, you're going to pick three or four at most to work towards for the next three months. If you choose more than three, then you'll probably end up burning out. Three or four is a really good number. Now you have to decide how you'll measure if your goal has been achieved or not. So as I said, for health related goals, it could be with weight or with measurements. And with YouTube subscribers, it would just be the number. Some goals are easier to measure than others. So for example, if your goal is to be less stressed, 
then you might want to measure it in activities that take stress away from you. I don't know if that makes sense. The way you would measure it would maybe be creating the habit of meditating every day. Or if your goal is to obtain something physical like a new car, then obviously you can measure it by seeing if you actually achieved it or not. The next step is to choose what activities or tasks you will work on to take steps towards achieving your goals and what frequency you will do them in. For example, to have a better body, you may choose to work out three times a week and to gain more subscribers, you may set out to post two videos a week. If there's lots of tasks that you can think of, then just pick the two that you think will be more efficient. This is known as the 80-20 method. It means doing 20% of the activities but getting 80% of the results. Now I've actually designed a weekly task checklist that you can download. You just have to click the link in the description, scroll down to here, click on this link and you can download and print this weekly task checklist. Now on this checklist you can write down your three or four goals and then there is space to write your two activities that you will be doing to work towards them and every day you can just check off if you did it or not. Now at the end of the week you can calculate your success rate, for example if your goal was to work out three times a week you would put three out of three and a hundred percent. Say you managed to upload one video a week instead of two then you'd put one out of two and fifty percent. So this really just depends on what frequency you said you would do the task and then how many days you complete it and you can just divide them numbers and you'll get the percentage. At the bottom of the success rate section on the checklist you can calculate your weekly success rate for all your goals combined. Now the aim is to be 80% productive or more. At the end of every week, remember to evaluate what went well for you and what didn't. If you did complete your task, then that's great. And if you didn't, you should really think why. Maybe you thought you didn't have enough time. Maybe you didn't have the motivation. In those instances, you need to sit down with yourself and really think about what's going wrong. A lot of the time we have subconscious limiting beliefs that really stop us from making progress towards achieving our goals. This can be anything from I'm not good enough to I don't have enough time to I need something to achieve my goal. For example, to be healthier or be more fit, you might say, well, I need a gym membership to do that. For a YouTube channel, it might be, I need a camera, editing software. These limiting beliefs can not only be harmful towards achieving our goals, but in every aspect of our lives. A quick way to fix these thoughts is whenever you think them, just stop and think about why you believe this thought. You have to remember that it's all in your head and you can achieve whatever you want. I don't know if this will make any sense to you as well, but another tip I have when it comes to limiting beliefs and achieving your dream life is to act as if you already have what you are wishing for. So depending on what you want to achieve, this might make sense or not. But using the examples I've set out, if you want to be more fit, then act as if you already are as fit as you want to be. Act as if you're already that person with that body and do what she would do. I really hope this is making sense. So imagine you're already this girl with this body. What does she do? When she wakes up in the morning, does she work out? Does she stretch? Does she eat a healthy breakfast? Of course she does. That's why she has her body. That's what you have to work towards. Now when it comes to YouTube subscribers, you want to have a million subscribers. What does the girl that has a million subscribers do? She wakes up and she thinks of video ideas. She films them, she edits, she's joyful, she's creative. Now you have to become that person. And this works with many other goals as well. Something that helps me a lot is just to stop and think, I'm the kind of person who blank. So it could be, I'm the kind of person who works out every day. I'm the kind of person that eats healthy. I'm the kind of person that puts a lot of work into my YouTube videos. I'm the kind of person that is creative. I'm the kind of person that's confident. I'm the kind of person that will go out and achieve my goals. The last step in this process is honestly the hardest and it is to work towards your goals daily. So you have your vision of your dream life, you know the steps to get there, you have it all planned out for the next three months. You've made your vision board so the universe is also working towards you obtaining what you want. Now all that's left is that you put the work in. This is the part that no one else can do for you. You really have to find your inner strength to get the energy and the motivation to make changes because if you don't make these changes you'll just stay where you are and yes it will be hard there will be days when you're tired there will be days when you just want to give up 
you honestly just have to push through all the negativity because if you really want something then you have to go for it this is something that we're not really taught but you honestly deserve to live the life you want to live we're always taught really limiting things if you want a certain body type work for it and you will get it you just have to put the work in if you want a million subscribers no one's just gonna hand it to you let me just check how many people are on youtube Okay, so there are 2 billion users on YouTube. Out of those 2 billion, who's to say that a million of them won't subscribe to your channel? So this last part of the video, I don't know how well I will have edited it and how much sense it would have made. But what I wanted to say is, stop thinking small and start thinking big. And you should never feel ashamed of wanting something better. Think about what makes you happy. Think about moments where you've just stopped and thought, wow. I am so lucky, I'm so grateful to be alive. And try and fill your life with these moments. Maybe some of you would like to share goals that you are going to set for the next three months down in the comments. I would love to hear what you'd like to achieve. And I promise you, as long as you followed every step in this video, you can achieve whatever you want. Before you come at me though and say, Erin, I wanna marry Justin Bieber. Remember, smart goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time bound. But also remember that there is like a 0.0000001% chance that Justin Bieber could get divorced and fall in love with you. So yeah, set attainable goals, but also dream big. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Due to the overwhelming support on my last video, I would like to share some of the comments that really made my day. So I'll do that here. Thank you so much. If I like some of the comments on today's video, then I might post them in the next one. Remember, if you want to get the free printable downloadable weekly task checklist, just click the link in the bio. And last, but certainly not least, if you would like to see more content from me in the future, subscribe to my channel. And that's all for this video.